Hey guys, Gator Mom here. I wanted to do a review for you today on the Petunia Picklebottom Touring Tote. And this print is in the Dreaming and Ducks print. It's my favorite Petunia Picklebottom print. I also have it in a Weekender, I have it in a cell phone case, and a couple of the Petunia Picklebottom accessories. If you want to check out the review that I have on the Weekender in this print, you can. It's on my channel. Um, if anybody would like, I can put the link below. Just comment and let me know. The front of this bag here has this nice kind of placard Petunia Picklebottom logo plaque here and it also has some embroidered accents if you will kind of throughout the front part of this bag this pocket here is just a strong magnetic closure and i'll usually put my cell phone in here my keys sometimes i will carry um, like a mirror i just have a chapstick in here right now so it's just kind of things that i need to grab really quickly while i'm out the sides of the bag have these two zippered pockets they're not really bottle pocket because they're quite small but they're nice to throw little mommy essentials that you need to grab quickly in this one here i just have my sunglasses and it's the only thing i have in there because i do like to keep them separate from the rest of the bag when i don't have them in a case the back of this bag here is just one long zippered pocket and what you're supposed to put in there is the change pad that comes with the touring tote i actually don't use this change pad so i have it pulled out of the bag what I do have in here is my Timmy and Leslie clutch that came with one of my Timmy and Leslie bags. And in here I have all of my mommy stuff. I have my credit cards and cash. I have lotion, a little um, pill case, nail file compact, Altoids, um, some mascara there at the bottom. So it's just mommy stuff, some gum. There's a zippered pocket back here that I keep some extra nursing pads and cash if I have any or receipts. So it's easy and nice to grab if I'm going somewhere without the kids, which is hardly ever, but if I'll run to the grocery store or something, I can just grab this out of the bag and it's all kind of contained in one spot. That's the only thing I have back here in this pocket. It's quite a large pocket. You can fit a lot in there. What I will sometimes put in there also would be some uh, toys for the kiddos if I need to grab them really quickly. So a lot you can do with that pocket. On the other side here, there's one more zippered pocket. And in here, all that I carry is the long strap that goes to this bag. Right now, I have the short strap on the bag. And it's the strap that I like to carry with this bag, but I will put the long strap in the bag in case I wanna go hands-free while I'm out. You can also attach stroller clips to the top of here. So there's a couple different ways that you can actually carry this bag. I'm going to detach the short strap right now, just so I can really show you how big the uh, touring tote will open up. There's two zippers here. And then just laying on top of the bag in here, I have my Jujube Passy Pod with some nursing shields and um, pacifiers if I need those while I'm out. And then just a little handheld toy to keep my little five month old busy if need be. And those are the only loose things I have sitting here on top. I'll sometimes throw a burp cloth or something in there also, but that's all I had for the time being. I wanted to show you all what the inside of the bag looked like. There are um, two pockets up here in the front, two pockets in the back, and then there's two side pockets as well. So you have pockets all the way around the inside of this bag. If you fill the pockets to pretty much as much as they can stand, like I have, you can't put much in the middle part of this bag. So just kind of a heads up on that. What I have packed in here in the big main part of the bag just sitting at the bottom is the powder room case in this same um, print. And in here I have all of my diapering needs and kind of baby essentials for my five month old. I have um, a little onesie from, for, for him, some Honest Company wipes, a disposable change pad, I have two size two diapers, and then there's a little pocket inside this powder room case, which let me take these out so you guys can really see it. This little pocket here on the inside and I just have some baby lotion uh, some nail files I have some diaper rash cream a baby Ganex, a lip and face balm and then a um, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and then there's also this neat kind of zipper pocket in the back of these cases and all that I have in there are some disposable arm and hammer um, changing bags also sitting down here in the middle of the bag, I have this little Jujube Be Neat pouch. And in here I just have a couple teething essentials for my son. He's teething pretty bad. I'll sometimes put some Tylenol in here. Um, all that I have in here right now is a couple of these uh, Baby Origel natural teething tablets. And I have his um, amber teething necklace. 
And then I have an Aiden and Anais bamboo snap bib. This is one of their really soft um, snap bibs. And I just put this on if he's drooling or if he seems like he's having a hard time. Sometimes he likes to chew on this, um, kind of holds it close to his face. And so I don't use this for eating. I just use this kind of for a drool cloth for him. Now he is kind of starting to eat solid foods and I have two other children as well. So I usually don't carry much food in here, but I will carry a GGB fuel cell separate from here or 31 thermal or depending on where I'm going. Uh, this bag isn't quite big enough for additional food and snacks. So that's everything I have in this middle part of the bag. In this back pocket over here, I carry a um, GGB coin purse. And in here I just have um, some drink stuff for me. I have a couple of these teeth placards some mother's milk tea, I have an emergency pack, um, orange drink, and a camelback kind of water sweetener in there. And then I have some animal crackers for my daughter, a little granola bar, and then just some fruit snacks. In this pocket over here, I have just some things to keep my older too busy. A little book for my daughter, uh, a notebook for my son, and just kind of a little pencil for him. And that's everything in the back two pockets. In these front two pockets, this one on the side, I carry a travel Kleenex and a custom Jujube Cobalt Blossom ouch pouch. And in here I just have some Benadryl, some Neosporin, Tums, and a bunch of Band-Aids. In this other pocket that's right here on this side, I carry a bunch of wipes. Um, I have a couple of these Dapple individual pacifier wipes and a couple of these individual Baby Yannix hand sanitizing wipes. And these hand sanitizing wipes are really good if you're like out at a park or somewhere where their hands are dirty and you want to give them a snack and the um, antibacterial just kind of isn't getting it and you need like a wipe. These are what these are what these are really good for. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied today. I'm trying to go too fast. These wipes here, I have some boogie wipes and some hand and face Johnson wipes. And that's everything I have in the other side or other front pocket, I should say. On these two side pockets here, this one over here, all that I carry is my um, nursing cover. And it is a kind of a muslin nursing cover. It's pretty thin, but it rolls up nice and small. And then in this side pocket over here, I have all of my big bottle things. Um, I have some Baby Gannett's insect repellent. I have some sunscreen. I have um, some hand sanitizing uh, gel. And then I have a stain eraser, um, kind of a stain stick. And that is everything that I carry in this touring tote. So now you can really have a good picture of what the inside of it looks like. I really like this light gray print. It's easy to find everything.